Ni hao, party people. We are here at Taipei 101. Come check out the food court. In today's episode, we're going to visit a few spots who uses boba in some unique ways. First stop is Taipei 101. For the boba tarts, let's give it a try. Right, right. Well, all right. You get six of these for one ninety nine. NT. So I'll just give it maybe two smiley rounds. What's up guys, it's Reese and I'll be taking over. Our next stop is Bella Park in Da'an District. Sa'an? Da'an. This is a French style cafe that serves coffees, pastas, and pizzas. But we're really here for two things. One, the boba souffle pancakes, and finally, the boba milk tea pancakes. This right here is a boba souffle pancake. It's light and fluffy, and it's finished with the whipped cream cheese topping and boba. Personally, it's too sweet for me, but those with the sweet tooth will love it. Now this is by far my favorite, the boba milk tea pancakes. The actual pancakes have a subtle flavor, but the milk tea froth is a perfect complement. Restaurant. They are the originators of milk tea boba. Take a look. Is that balls on the bottom of the cup? You see me. Let's give it a try. <laughs> Bobo almost went in my nose. <laughs> Pretty good. Just the right amount of sweetness. Nice herbaceousness of the tea. And the boba is actually firm yet tender. Does that make sense? Probably not. <laughs> it's pretty good though. How many rounds should we give it? Please? Three. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to Rendezvous Eats. Smash that like button and be sure to subscribe below. Peace and share, share.